Coaching Package Pricing Wisdom. Here are a number of other ideas to take in and consider when determining your fees. After you listen to them all, put pen to paper and start crafting the perfect set of fees for all your coaching programs and packages. It's the timeline or road of successful decisions that is the tangible product of your coaching services that can be sold all day long. Put a price tag on it, which you will also justify in your sales material, and then go to town marketing it from coast to coast and around the world. Decide whether you'll charge month to month by the session or offer packages of your time. The advantage of selling coaching packages is that you can create predictable income and elicit more commitment on behalf of the client. A client who invests $2,500 with you versus $250 is more committed to their own success. Don't forget to factor in your energy costs before, during, and after every coaching session. Just because you spend 45 minutes with a client on the phone, typically your work doesn't stop there. You might be required to follow up with an email response, read over sales copy, scripts, and presentation outlines, listen to recently recorded audio before it goes live, among other tasks related to supporting your client's success. Be sure the fees you charge cover your time spent before, during and after your coaching sessions. Keep in mind, your income from coaching doesn't have to come from coaching one-on-one -on -one exclusively. As you develop your coaching business, you can expand your coaching services into group coaching, teleseminars, and speaking gigs to help bring in more money and lighten the load of coaching clients one-on-one. -on -one. Also, you can make extra money by developing your own product line to sell to your clients as you coach them. And, have you heard of affiliate marketing? Of course you have. Affiliate marketing is your ticket to wealth in today's age of information products, especially for coaches. Imagine, while you're coaching others, helping them improve their lives, they could be selling your products and coaching services for you as well, helping you with key marketing efforts with two aims in mind. Number one, help even more people, and two, make even more money. Another factor that goes into pricing is fame. How famous are you? How popular? How well known are you in your coaching niche or industry? To the degree you are well known, your income will also be on the rise. Here's a graph that I created which you can see in the book or online. And what it does is as you shoot for stardom, fame, and becoming well known, in all the circles you socialize in and network in, here's what happens. As your popularity and fame increase, the more well known you are in your niche, the more money you can charge clients because your fees and income level will also increase. Supply and demand. When more people demand your time, it's natural for you to raise your rates and charge clients more. So, think about that. Another factor that goes into pricing is fame. How famous, how popular, how well known, how well recognized are you in your niche of coaching? First time coaches make how much? A few hundred dollars per month per client? In most cases. Not to mention finding those clients is hard when you're just starting out. Celebrity or high profile coaches make how much? Thousands of dollars per month per hour per client. All the more reason to get out there and get well known. Remember, you're in the solutions selling business. You're not a coach per se. Don't see yourself selling time to coach with you. Price your fees in accordance with the problem you're solving. Determine the value of someone's problem and what it's costing them. Then set your fee according to that number. Not so much what your time is worth, what it's worth to the client for you to solve their problem. That's where you price your fee. Most likely in the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Decide what additional perks and services you have to offer your clients. The more value you can pack into your coaching packages, the more money you can charge. You could offer services like recording your coaching calls, transcribing your coaching calls,
various products, discounts on other services you offer, inclusion of other services, and more. What do coaches charge within their niche? Typically, life coaches might charge anywhere between $175 to $750 per month. Business coaches, $250 to $2,500 per month. And executive coaches, $500 to $5,000 per month on average. Where do you fall in that range or niche coaching professionals? Charge accordingly. If you help people make money, feel free to charge a certain percentage of what you think they can make with your help. For example, if your coaching helps a client yield $100,000 in profits that year, you might charge them 1% of those projected earnings even before they happen. So we're talking about $10,000 over a six month period of coaching. Not bad. Prospective clients who balk at your prices probably aren't really committed to themselves to make coaching work for them. Let them go. You want a client who is fully committed. Think about a car salesman. Does he really want to work with someone who balks at the price? Or would he rather have someone walk onto the car lot that day and say, I like that car. I have my deposit ready. Can we get the paperwork going? Translation. I understand the value of what I'm buying. Hence, I'm not afraid to spend X amount of money. I want what my money will buy me. People without that kind of attitude are not going to be committed to your coaching program. Leave them be. Look for those who are committed to reaching their goals with your help. The only real reason to offer pro bono or free coaching to clients is so you can practice coaching on others until you have a feel for how you bring about success in the clients you coach, in addition to getting testimonials. As you gain experience, the number of free sessions should decline while your paid sessions increase. Group freebie coaching sessions, those that you coach pro bono, one on one, group them close together. For example, coach these people on the same day, or in a single block of time, or in a group to avoid spreading freebie work and non billable hours across the whole week or the whole month. Also, Get these freebie people to do some work on their part before they come to you. Make them earn their free session. Who's it free for? Just them? Uh-uh. Forget that business model. When you make the client work for their free session, he or she will, number one, value it more, and two, makes your job easier to enroll them into future paid sessions because they have shown signs that they want to improve their situation with your help. Qualifying a prospect by giving them preliminary homework before their free session is the only way to go. This way, you're better able to judge them as a future paying client. How long is your first free session? Some say 30 minutes, some 45 or 50 minutes. I say as long as you want. Just imagine. You work with someone for two to three hours on the phone for the first call. If you can, if you want, and if time allows. You know, you don't have to do this with everybody, but every now and then, you know, slip it in. Here's what happens. Now, you're not really giving away all your secrets, but you are spending that time having the client tell all about their problem and their issue with needing your help. Then, you craftfully weave your previous success stories around their problem to the point where number one the client is hooked on you number two they see working with you just might result in your helping them achieve XYZ goal and number three they spent all that time with you they're not going to waste their own time telling their story all over again with some new coach they value their own time just as much as they would yours, like they should. So they might say to themselves, why not take the plunge with this coach? They really heard me out. I see he or she cares, and they did provide me a lot of reasons why and how they could help me. Hmm, where's my credit card? I think I'm ready to purchase coaching services. Providing just a, a little more time on top of their allotted pro bono time 
Could be your one chance also to really make that great first impression they will never forget. Then, after asking a few qualifying questions such as, how has our first session been for you? Are you ready to work with me to help achieve XYZ goal? Great. After working with you today, and now that I know deeply what's required for me to help you, I would recommend either of these two packages because, and then go into the reasons. Do you think that's a fair estimate of time needed to help you accomplish your goal? Then sign here and let's get started. You could also offer them a package of coaching hours at a price that actually recoups your overtime spent with them on the phone. If you're confident in yourself to close a client, why not offer just a bit more time where you can really impress them, hook them, and make them an addict of your coaching voice, mind, and potential solutions. Determine how long they want to coach with you by offering them two to three package options, sign them up, and schedule your second of many coaching sessions to come. Charge fees based on your reputation, accreditation, certifications, previous slash current client success stories, celebrity, popularity, well-known status in your industry, what the market or industry you're in will bear, what other coaches are charging, income brackets of your target clientele, documented success stories, measured rates of success, what your time's worth, how in demand you are, etc. The more you have of these things, the more you can charge without any hesitation at all. 